So you want to mirror your Samsung Galaxy S2, S3, S4, S5, S6, even the Notes, the Notes 2, 3, 4, 5, and you want to mirror your phone wirelessly to your HDTV so you can play games, uh, watch Netflix, look at photos, videos, pretty much whatever you want to do. I can recommend a product here. It is called ScreenBeam Mini 2. It is basically a wireless display receiver or Wi-Di receiver. I'm going to show you exactly how this works and let me show you uh, some examples of what it can do on the phone and then I'll show you what the device looks like and everything. But basically it just hooks up to my HDMI port in the back and that's pretty much it. It says uh, this is the screen beam, it's ready to connect. So what you simply do is you get your S-series uh, Samsung phone out in Galaxy and you just scroll down like this and you want to go to edit or you can click on the wrench too. And just look for uh, where it says screen mirroring. If you guys are using a different Android phone uh, and it has a screen mirroring feature, you can also be able to mirror it, your phone there as well. But it may be called something else besides screen mirroring. It could be called like all cast, all cast screening or casting screen or media output or smart view. There's all kinds of different names. They make it very complicated. Anyways, let me go ahead and click on screen mirroring here. And it's automatically connecting to me. And that's is my receiver name that is connected to the SW, SVWD. And there we go. Okay, so let's do this. Let's, um, let's watch a Netflix video. Right here, Netflix. And let's just pick on anything. Making murder. Push on play. Let me fast forward here. And also the... Um, you weren't quiet about it. Also, the volume and everything will come out directly from your HDTV, guys. And you can see everything is wireless here. Quality comes out good. Uh, there's really uh, no no lag. Now, when, it, when, you, when you're playing... Let me go ahead and put a... Put, um, the so, the quality is great. Uh, there's really, like, no quiet. lag. He was always happy, happy. Now, when you do, when you play a game, there's going to be like a very slight lag. And let me show you like an example. Let's go ahead and play a game here. you can see like there is like a slight lag but I'm playing the video uh, directly from my TV I'm not even looking at my phone Okay, so that's pretty much a gameplay. And of course, you can watch your videos. Uh, you can look at your photos. Uh, pretty much anything that you want to do on your phone, you can mirror directly to your HDTV. And of course, you can watch your own, uh, you can watch Amazon video, you can watch your own videos, you can uh, see your photos on the big screen. Now, let me show you what the device actually looks like. I'm just going to pop it right out of this HDMI port in the back of my TV. like that and let's go down here and this is what basically the device looks like okay it comes in a box uh, like this and I'll put the link before uh, link below where I got it. I got it on Amazon um, but basically it's a wide eye receiver the only thing you do is you hook this up to the back of your uh, HDMI port in your HDTV so you hook that up HDMI port and you also it comes with a um, a wire here for 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 you to plug in this uh, USB cable, and you need to plug in this USB because basically this will power this up. So in the back of my TV, I have a HDMI uh, port and I have a USB port, so I plug them both in the back of my TV. However, if you don't have a USB port uh, that's back there or that's available, you can plug it in anywhere in your computer, or you can also plug it into a wall socket. It comes with um, a, a wall adapter here as well. 
and it also came with an extender here. The extender basically is for uh, if, you, if you have a, a difficulty get, always getting to your HDMI port in the back of your TV, you just plug this in one time and then you always have this ex extender to plug in another HDMI device anytime. It's basically easy accessibility. Anyways, again, this is what the product looks like in the box and I'll put a link below. If you guys have questions, uh, need assistance like hooking this up or anything, uh, just comment below. All right, thanks, bye.